In this example we're going to use the interactivity between the, the alignment and the 3D structure in order to help us see the sequence conservation around the, the kinase ligand binding pocket. We can do this by first defining the region where the pocket is. So in this example we have ATP in the kinase pocket. We can select the neighbors, the, the, the residue neighbors surrounding that ligand, like this. If you right click and choose select neighbors, um, all objects within five angstroms. Okay, okay. And you can see we have green crosses in the graphical display, and residues that have been selected here are highlighted in blue here. So we also have some other uh, sequences from the Uniprot in our alignment. So we want to pr propagate this selection to all the sequences. So we click on the, the button here to give us our panel and we choose the option Propagate to all sequences. Now you can see the blue highlighting is, is on all, all, all sequences in that in the alignment that have been selected. So um, we, our idea is just to show the alignment, the sequence conservation in the pocket, so we just want to see the residues in the pocket. So we can use the tool here called invert. This will invert our selection, so this selects all the residues outside the pocket and then we can also in the alignment as well, so we can do hide. And then we're just left with the the residues directly in our selection inside the pocket. So we can easily see the regions that are fully conserved here.